Need a little help here on the second floor, please. Yeah. You have a pass? Can you catch him, please? And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the transcript. transcript. This week, MERS Mobile Games discovers LEGO Star Wars, the complete saga. We learn about NHS's production of Radium Girls. Investigate manufacturing company L3 Harris. And go into the halls to see what people are wearing. On Tuesday, anti-mining protests in Panama took a deadly turn when an elderly man allegedly shot and killed two demonstrators. The protests oppose a recent mining contract, arguing that the proposed open pit copper mines would pollute the surrounding water supply. Last Saturday, Hampshire and Franklin counties collected 2,568 pounds of drugs during the recent National Prescription Drug Take-Back Day, totaling 71,584 pounds since 2011. The initiative aims to prevent drug misuse and environmental harm. I'm Ellie Hiranandani, and thanks for watching. Well, the spring musical returned after the pandemic in 2022 with Mamma Mia, the yearly fall play had yet to return to NHS. This year, however, the fall play returned last week with the theater department's production of Radium Girls. We spoke to students working on the play to learn more about the rigorous production process and the importance of the fall play in the theater department. I decided to do a fall play because Musicals are great, musicals are fun, but for actors, uh, a play really is the opportunity to dig deep into characters and story and script, and how well you can sing and dance has no implication on your ability to perform in a play. The play that I uh, we just did, you know, included cast members who have had, you know, leading roles in musicals, it's had a cast members who 
you know, maybe had minor roles in musicals in the past, and it included cast members that have not made it into the musical in the past. I think that having a fall play is like a really fun way to do acting in kind of a low pressure situation. It was a really fun way just to like learn a cool skill in acting and also um, make a lot of new friends in kind of a short time span. It was only in two months. So the fall play, obviously it, it's like doesn't have singing and dancing, which the musical has. Um, but also it's like much shorter um, and it has a much smaller cast. So the fall play, we do it like over two months and the musical is done over four or five months. And then we also have like a 60 person cast with the musical and probably a 30 person cast with the play. I think you can get like some more detailed feedback since it's a smaller cast with the um, play and it's a nice way to like raise your confidence for the musical which has like a bit more competitive auditions. I think doing the play here during the fall helps with like acting careers in the future is it's just like another experience and like every experience you get is something that can help with like any career in general but like especially with acting and it, and it can also help you get into like the field of the musical. I think the play helps preparation or interest with the musical because like I don't know you just get into like the feel of it you're in the dressing room you're listening to music before the show you get the nerves and it makes you even more excited to experience that for the musical. Auditions for this year's spring musical take place November 14th and 15th from 4 to 8 in the Black Box Theater. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Hi, I'm Jake Kuzmeski and welcome to Murr's Mobile Games. This week we discover LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, a LEGO platform game where you complete all six films made by TT Games and WB Games. Let's jump right into it. My favorite villain is Darth Maul because he's able to be able to fight and he has two lightsabers on his lightsaber. It's very frustrating to make him leave and now the frustrating part is where you have to get him before he tries to escape. My favorite episode is uh, episode one, The Phantom Menace, because I get to fight Darth Maul. But the worst level is the Moss Espa pod race. I kept losing over and over and over again because so Bulba was cheating and stuff, but I got, but guess what? I got through him and I won the race. My favorite character is Jar Jar Binks. He's very funny, but he can be obnoxious. But my mom and dad find him obnoxious, but he's very funny. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this game, be sure to check out my YouTube channel at Chili Dog in the Stone. May the force be with you. Now since 2021, the East Anthem Skate Park has gone through many phases and locations but has yet to begin construction or provide any information as to when the project will begin. Without any designated location for skating, the skateboarding community in East Hampton has had to create their own solutions. The East Hampton Skate Club, which recently opened to the public, is a 2,700 square foot indoor skate park located in Eastworks. The East Hampton Skate Club is meant to provide an area to skate for residents of East Hampton during the winter and while the East Hampton Skate Park is being planned. Uh, I started teaching skateboarding in 2011 in San Francisco. Um, I was working at a middle school there called James Lick Middle School, running after school programs there. Uh, I taught skateboarding at the school for about five years and then also worked in uh, summer camps and did private lessons as well. So I took a few years off and started doing it again back here in the valley in uh, the winter of 22. There's just absolutely nowhere to skate in the winter, um, number one. Number two, uh, the you know youth of the area have nowhere to learn. Um, like we spoke about the Northampton skate park, it really just has a gigantic bowl, and not a single other quarter pipe to even learn how to drop in on. Um, so I figured that you know you'd accomplish a couple goals by creating an indoor space where it's warm, it's safe, it's dry, and at the same time providing an opportunity to learn how to control a skateboard, use a skateboard advanced skills as well, um, but basically without having somewhere to practice, you can't progress. And so that was the big uh, motive for, for opening up an indoor.
I think the space has a lot to do with the public skate park that we're trying to build in East Hampton. Um, I mean, first and foremost, uh, myself and my friends are both on the board of the East Hampton Skate Park Association and are actively working to build out this space and create this space for the community. Um, we plan to hold skate park meetings in here over the winter. We plan to use this space as a training facility to train up the youth that are going to be using the East Hampton Skate Park, making sure they're ready and excited for it. And on top of that, we want to use this space to show that skateboarding has value and skateboarding has civic value, cultural value, and um, you know, kind of change the perception of the town and some of the town's people and, and show that there is a community, a collective community, and build on it and create more of it. The last update given about the East Hampton Skate Park was in June 2022, and the current proposed location is behind Eastworks. While we wait for updates, be sure to check out the East Hampton Skate Club at one of their open skate days in Eastworks. And thanks for watching Culture Shock. Hey guys, you're watching Hallway Hot Takes. Where we roam the NHS hallways asking people the questions that you guys are dying to know the answers to. This week we got some fit checks and OOTDs. Can you give us an outfit of the day? Um, um, these, this is my grandfather's army jacket, very cool. My grandmother's sweater, because we're fall girlies. And um, boots that are made for walking. Um, and, and jeans, because I'm hot. That's awesome, thank you. <laughs> give us an OOTD. Um, okay, shirt is from the baby section at uh -huh. Will, but I think it's actually like a woman's shirt. Pants are from PacSun. Um, my shoes are Adidas. My socks are from my mom. Christmas 2021. Can you give us an OOTD? What's that? Outfit of the day. Uh, we got Stussy hat. We got Vans boots. We got jeans. We got a shirt. Nintendo. And yeah. Awesome, and thank you. Hey, what's your name? Charlotte. <laughs> what's your outfit? Um, Airy Garage Lululemon. What's your name? Kiara Cologne. Where's your outfit from? Um, <laughs> this, I think I thrifted. This is from Five Below, and these are from Pink and Crocs. Nice. Goodwill. Savers. Goodwill. What's your name? Ima. Where's your outfit from? Um, my pants are Dickies. I don't want to stand up. My shoes are Adidas, and then my sweater. Oh, we're matching! Yes. We're literally wearing the same shoes! <laughs> oh my gosh! What's your name? Clementine. Where is your clothing from? Uh, the thrift store. Like, all of them. All thrift. of it? Yeah. Which thrift store? Um, okay, so I go to a thrift store in Westfield, and then this is from the Goodwill on King Street, and this is from a thrift store in Springfield where I live. That's awesome, I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, okay, what's your name? Lila. Where's your outfit from? Uh, White Fox, Brandy, and Converse. Love it, thank you. What's your name? Morvin. Where's your outfit from? Top, wait, sweater is from Hot Topic, top is from Urban Outfitters, pants are from Urban Outfitters, and shoes are from Converse. That is adorable. What's your name? Uh, Neiman. Where's your outfit from? Um, the thrift store. All of it, which thrift store? Goodwill. Nice. Oh, What's your okay. name? Ariana. Where's your outfit from? Uh, my shoes are from Adidas, my pants are from Brandy, my sweatshirt is from a place. Harper. Where's your outfit from? Um, mainly my sister. Uh, All of it? Uh, okay, these used to be hers, but they're mine now. I bought these <laughs> for myself for my birthday. This is definitely hers. This shirt is my older sister's, so good enough. Um, I stole this ring from her. What's your name? Ella. Where's your outfit from? Um, okay, my pants are from Goodwill. My sweater is from... Savers and Love my shoes savers. are from the Goodwill bin, so we got some good variety. That's amazing there. thrifting. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Okay. What, what's your name? Whitney Russell. Where's, where's your outfit from? My outfit is from uh, Lands and and um, oh, what's that other main company? LL Bean. Maddie, it's Frodo Baggins. Oh, hello, Frodo. Mary, it's Frodo Baggins. Hello, Frodo. Get out of my field. I think I've broken something. I think I've broken something. Get off the road. Get off the road. 
You shall not pass! You shall not pass! Right, fly you fools! How are you fools? They took the little ones. They took the little ones. Our people are safe. Our people are safe. He's dead. He fell. You could have picked a better spot. You could have picked a better spot. What's happening out there? Shall I describe it to you? What's happening out there? Shall I describe it to you? Or would you like me to find you a box? Or would you like me to find you a box? Thanks so much, much for, for watching. watching. Buy raffle tickets at the bus loop doors before school the next week for a chance to win a $250 Northampton gift card. Tickets are $5 and all the money goes to the Latin classes trip to Italy. See, See you, you next week. week.